for instance, master deck. Because mm -hmm. uh, with master deck, if you have too many units that master, uh, then in your initial draw, you can get you know quite a few copies of them if you have not enough cards in your entire deck. So usually you should put a bit more cards in these types of deck. But uh, let's talk about that later because we will probably be building some monster decks later on. Yes. Uh, but going back to basics, so you need 25 cards. Mm -hmm. Four of these cards can be golden cards, like Hermione and Geralt right now uh, on in our deck. And six uh, of these cards can be a silver cards. And this is mm, something similar to the uh, hero and character distribution we had in, in Witcher 3, but we twisted up, uh, twisted it uh, a bit, so this categorization can fit uh, into the special cards as well. So if you would look at decoy right now, it's a silver card, so you mm -hmm. can have only one of those uh, in your deck. Because silver cards, uh, you can have only one copy of, of them uh, in your deck, golden cards as well, but with bronze cards, as you can see, you can have three copies of each. Yes. And as everybody might be noticing on screen right now, the cards look different. So right now, the decoy card has this sort of neutral banner on it. Um, but then if I go to a Skellige specific card, it has this lovely purple banner. So you guys have updated all of that. You want to talk about that at all? Yeah, sure. You can zoom in the card with uh, right trigger. Oh, here we go. Because Fancy. It's, uh, yes, it's much nicer this way. So uh, previously, because we, we're, our game is evolving, we're changing it according to feedback we get from people. Because we love listening to people and we actually want to make a game for you guys. Uh, so this was one of the uh, feedback from the uh, previous versions of the game that you couldn't uh, distinguish uh, cards that much when they were... From, you, you couldn't say on the first glance which Whether faction... Whether it was a square tell or a skeleton exactly. or whatever. Yeah. So we changed that. Uh, our artists worked really hard to uh, do this crazy banners that look really cool in my opinion. Yeah. And uh, the banner on the left obviously states the faction. The really small uh, gem in the right bottom uh, corner of the card is the rarity gem. And ob obviously the border itself suggests uh, the color of the card, so categorization. This one is silver. Yes. If you just scroll through the cards then you can see yeah, this, this one is golden and uh, the guys uh, on the melee. It's fancy. Yeah, he's, he's the fanciest. Yes, he's a Ermion. Uh, you probably remember him from The Witcher. He I was do. the druid that do, was really, he was really, really mad. angry <laughs> at Yen. Yeah. Uh, so these are the basics. So when you're building a deck, remember about not overloading your decks mm -hmm. because it will actually hurt you uh, and it won't help your, uh, your game. So actually, let's finish this deck because cool. it's almost done. We need six more cuts but we probably will change some things a bit because I don't think we need a decoy. We, we cool. swap you out. Exactly, we want to throw cards away, not to, you know, to take them back to your hand. Uh, let's jump to the golden cards uh, and pick something that will be really useful. I think Birna Bran will be a really useful card in this deck because she discards, I mean, she draws four cards, uh, lets you pick one, and the rest is just being discarded. She's Where is she? on the right. She is the lady that is being held next to the rock. Ah. Yeah. This, yes. this one. You probably remember her from uh, Skellige. She was uh, in a King's uh, quest line. I mean, if you were helping Ceres, you could have meet her. So, uh, we'll try and keep it spoiler free, if yes. we can. If we slip up, <laughs> we should have played. No. <laughs> uh, but she works with our deck really, really good, I think, uh, because she discards and she draws. So we'll get a cut uh, by playing her as well. We have two spies because we have Donor as well, and Donor also discards one card to, to your graveyard. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, I was just going to actually... I guess I'll zoom in on these guys and show the new s the symbol here. This, this symbol suggests that cards are disloyal. We had a problem with that uh, because we uh, we couldn't find a good way of showing uh, disloyal cards. Previously, you were able to only you know zoom in and uh, look at it, and this little red icon suggests that the card that will be played will be played on opponent side of the battlefield because this loyal card is a card that is being played on your your opponent side so you're giving your opponent points yes but in return but you're, getting, you're something. getting something yeah uh, if you're for instance stated to lose a round like purposely lose it then this is a really uh, good way of using these cards 
Uh, what else do we need? We can actually uh, make use of Madman Lugos uh, because he's on the left. He's on. He's the four guy. There we go. Because he will mm, increase his power for every cut that is in the graveyard, and we'll maybe mm. we'll be able to discard everything. It's one of the one of the really uh, rarest decks, most rare decks, that are actually able to uh, draw or discard all of the cards. Uh, with that we got our golden cards covered, but uh, you want to keep Geralt or maybe you want to ch change him to something? Um, I'm fine with swapping him. What would you want to swap him for? I'm not sure. I'm always a young girl, but I don't know if she makes sense in this deck. Is she fine? Can we switch for uh, her? She won't work with this one. Oh, if you sad. if you want, you Who can, can swap, swap him with, with Ceres, because okay. Ceres works really well with Queen's Guard. And Queen's Guard are actually a foundation of our deck. You will see that later on. We will be are. copying them. We will be resurrecting them over and over again. So we get our golden cuts covered. So let's jump to silver. We need one more silver. Cool. And I would actually take the card on the far left, the Last Wish. The, it's ah, even oh, the very yes, far. I the thought very you meant far. just the no, one. No, no, no. That, okay. Because this one draws two cards and let, lets you pick two cards to discard. So, it's so like you can discard the guys that automatically get played. Yes. Yeah. It's like mulliganing them. And you can discard Queen's Guards as well. You'll see why. And with that, we're... We some bronze now. Yes. Because with that we're covered with silvers. I mean, we can always swap Scorch for something, but it's always good to have it one Scorch in your deck. It's always kind of fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I would still pick one more clear weather because we have only two of them. Uh, and actually, no. Let's keep yeah. it, let's keep it two. Let's keep it two because it depends on who we're playing against, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we for sure need Priestesses of Freya. So these are the cards that will bring a card yes. from the graveyard back onto the battlefield. And Come here. we need all of them. Yes. They will really, really help us a lot. And we need one more card. And I think I'll let you pick it because oh, we're also <laughs> more or less covered with this one. Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it actually does it because does. the thing I'm usually doing Let's is see. I'm picking the um, Shieldsmiths, uh, these guys. Because they, they are increasing uh, a base value, uh, an original strength of a unit. Uh, so it works really well with um, Queen's Guard because Queen's Guard will bring copies of themselves from the graveyard. So we, we will need to discard them and then play and play them over and over, over and again. Uh, you'll see how it works. Got it. So add game. some of them. I would see because I was going to go with a more basic unit just for those times when you don't want to show too much of what you're doing. Hey, if you, you want know? to. It's your deck now. So. It's mine. Oh. <laughs> no pressure, because if I put these in, then we lose. You're going to be like, you should have. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. Much of right. will let us win. How many should I put in? <laughs> all of them? Only one. We have, one. we have 25 cards already. That's so. right. I'm like, I want to put all of them in. All right. No, we're good to Let's go. Let's learn restraint. Exactly. We could, we could, if you want to, we can remove one of the clear weathers and uh, pick another draw card. Oops. They're back over there. Because we more or less can't control what we will get. Cool. We'll see. Um, so we've got some questions from the chat here. Uh, people, of course, want to know when we're going to be sending out keys. They will go out about 24 hours from now, and that's when the first wave will start going out. So if you don't get it initially, don't worry too much. We will be continually sending keys out. OK, so we're all set here. We can save and exit. Yes, and I think we can jump and into can, the game right away. Let's right. play a game, shall we? Yep. Play a little friendly match. This is our deck, yes? Yes, yes okay. and, uh, I, I will mention one thing, because we're playing a bit different build than, uh, that is correct. than the build that uh, you'll get to play tomorrow, because this one won't have timers, because we want to talk. And if We're chatty cathies. We want to talk you through some of the new uh, cards, some of the new mechanics. So yeah, there is normally a timer, but for us, no timer. Yeah, so we will take a really long time to play this game because we will be choosing our cards carefully. Yeah. It is it's how the I advantage. And then so someone on Twitter had actually asked before um, whether or not there will be cutscenes in the game. And so for multiplayer, there aren't really, but for single player, I imagine that there are. Yes, for single player, there will, there will be comic book style uh, cutscenes in the game. 
like the ones you remember from Witcher 3. Okay, right. so this is the first phase of the game. It didn't change from The Witcher 3. So we get to a mulligan up to three cards. Man, we got, we're, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we should, you shouldn't talk too loud because oh. Magic will hear us. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside, we're actually looking pretty good. We can swap up to three cards. And I'm not actually to? sure if we need to. Wow, yeah, I feel like... I mean, you could only swap Draka and the rest is looking just fine. Yeah, we'll swap them, why not? Sure. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine oh. with that because All we'll right. use this guy later on. Yes, except... Magic will start. He's playing Northern Realms with... Actually, this will probably be a, an aggressive deck because he's a, he has a Radovid as a leader. And Radovid usually uh, leads... Uh, armies that are really aggressive because right. his ability is to remove 10 strength from a, a unit of his choice. Yes, and uh, previous games I have seen how that can hurt. All right, okay, so we've got all three of the Witchers coming out now. Yes, he started... Esco, Vesemir, Lambert. He started massively, so we'll see how we'll fare in that one. Uh, we can... St actually, we should start with Pirates to thin our deck a bit because if you'll navigate to our deck on the far right right now, next to the graveyard, you can see how many cards you have uh, left in your deck. So we have 15, because obviously we, ha we have 24 or 5 cards initially. Yep. You draw 10 cards, so we have 15 left. If you play this guy, we'll have only 13 yeah, cards left. So and it increases our chances. Automatically over to the graveyard. Yes, and you can zoom into the graveyard uh, whenever you want to. So we can see our That's cards. That's where they went. Yeah. Um, Slunny Swaggins in the chat is asking about discarding cards. And wondering if it's random or if you can choose. Oh, uh, let's show it. Uh, you can play Svanriga, the four guy, on the siege roll. Uh, you remember him, he's uh, the son of Birnabran. So we get to draw one card, and now we can choose what we want to discard. And we obviously want to discard our guy. Oh, it's there this he guy. Is. <laughs> so we're going to discard him, but because his ability is when he gets discarded, he's immediately played. We get another card on the board. Exactly. Usually he would just go to the graveyard, but he has this ability. We'll probably discard some Queen's Gods later on, but we'll see. Right now Maciek is investing heavily because he's he winning. He really is. <laughs> he's uh, already winning by 16 points, and we can't do anything about the Twitches uh, because they have different values. Uh, the, yeah, that's... It's annoying that Vesemir is slightly more, because otherwise you'd be able to Scorch and Yeah, him. that's a pity, when, because Scorch targets the um, highest unit on the board, but if more than one unit have the value, the highest right. value, then all of them will be removed. Although the then, yeah, board. we would take this guy out too. Uh, so I want to talk about Roach for a quick second, just because it's a fan favorite, uh, and people have wondered exactly how she works. So Roach, correct me if I'm wrong, she comes in to play whenever a gold card is played, and that can be on your side of the board or the opponent's side of the board. And um, it's best to not have her in your hand. Like yes. She just can chill in your deck, don't worry about having her in there. I mean, it's not whenever a gold card is being played, it's whenever a gold card appears on the board. Because That's we what have, I meant. We have, okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. with <laughs> mechanics like promotion that will make a bronze card. Ah, a I card. see what you're saying. This is the way I'm mentioning Fair. that. Uh, but yes, usually you're mulliganing her, this is the first thing you mulligan from your hand because she'll just come to the board anyway uh, if you'll play any gold card or if your opponent will play any gold card. So, right now we need to actually mm, decide oh, we what, what we want to do. Yeah. I think I would actually go with Birnabran because we are already losing massively, so we can just lose the so first beat. round purposely. <laughs> uh, so, Birna drew four cards and we get to choose one to keep, the rest will be discarded. Obviously, yes, We're gonna this keep is the him. obvious choice. <laughs> I mean, we, we could have taken Donar as well, but we have a way of bringing him back because we have Zikr Drifa. Okay. It's a He's really hard name to pronounce. He, it is. I'm glad you're the one doing it. <laughs> um, and actually, I would use that right now. I would play Zikr Drifa, so the one uh, killer. Yep. Yep. And resurrect Donna from the graveyard. This is because uh, um, we yourself. are already one card ahead. I mean, we were one card ahead, and we're going to lose this round anyway. Yep. But we're still one card ahead, as, and we discarded another one to the graveyard. Uh, we can actually check what uh, what we got in our graveyard. Can hop on over there. Yep, and it was one. I think it was a Priestess of Freya. 
Yes. Or, or another yeah. drucker, I can't remember, because the, the, the first two guys we discarded at the very beginning. Uh, and with that we can pass, we can purposely lose the round. Uh, yeah, that's something that I think a lot of people are reluctant to do, is to, they don't want to lose ever, but, you know, if you're going to lose, just pass one round. You're, you're allowed to lose one round, it's okay. I mean, if you'll win the first round, you're, you're in, in control a better of the position. game. Yeah, yes. exactly. But, but you're not out if you lose the first round. Exactly, especially when we have more cards than much. Especially when you're Skellige, who's yes. really strong in the third round. Because as you could see, our every single our um, one of our units no just got buffed a bit. Because Skellige's faction ability is to uh, increase strength of each unit by one at the end of each round. So they are strongest, obviously, in the third round. But right now yeah. we're, we're, we're obviously stronger than we were. Uh, and we got our operator, which is really good for us, because we can prolong the game a bit. So Ooh. this is one of the uh, most complex cut, uh, cards in the game. It allows you to choose a card from your hand, make a copy of it for you and your opponent. Uh, yep. So you have to think about what you'd want, not only you to have, but what they would be able to use and how they'd use it. Exactly. And we have Queen's Gods that are working perfectly together, but if you have only one Queen's God, it's Doesn't not do that, that much. good. Yeah, mm. exactly. So I would just use Operator now and copy a Queen's God. Blind, greedy fool. Copy one of you? Yes. So as you can see, we got one of the Queen's God. Obviously this one is a free, because this is her original value and she didn't get uh, She didn't get buffed, buffed on that round because she wasn't there. By a faction ability, which is actually good for us, because they won't be on the same, uh, let's call it a ceiling. Mm. So... What do you want they will be covered. Magic just resurrected uh, Eskel. Eskel. All right, Eskel's back in the game. Yes, Field Medic uh, is a Northern Realms Medic, and she resurrects a random unit from your graveyard, but it can be a silver unit. While our Priestesses of Freya resurrects uh, a chosen unit, but it can be only a bronze unit. Okay, okay. so he's again investing hard in this one, but we we actually can use Ermion oh, because okay, cool. we still have some cards to discard and to draw. Oop, there we go. Yes, this guy. We have um, a question in the chat and he's wondering about the music and whether, where the music is coming from for this game. I mean, music uh, is made by uh, the same guy that did the uh, uh, music for The Witcher 3, so if you know uh, Martin Szybulowicz's uh, work, then you should be covered. It's, it's, it's just, you know, the best thing. Uh, you can expect uh, in terms of music for the Witcher game. Okay, so we're discarding cards now. Discarding cards. I don't think Magic will have any weather, but... Yeah, so, but we only have one of him yes. anyway, so him and the weather card yes, is what I'd I say. Yes, I think so. Him, and then clear weather. The we're thinning our deck really quickly. You can actually look how many cards we have left. We have, I think, two we cards, have yeah, two two cards, cards left. left. Uh, Most are ten, 10 are in the graveyard, so that's good. Yep. Because this guy will get buffed. And oh, Magic just Magic, passed. He's like, I'm not good. He's waiting. He's waiting for the last round. I admire that. All right. Now, Scorch would not affect Regis because he's gold. No. Nope. Unfortunately. No, nope. we can only get rid of uh, Eskel. Eskel. With that. And we're only one. Actually, card no, we'd burn ourselves. Oh, no, he's a gold. Never mind. We wouldn't. We'd be fine. Yeah, but uh, one of the Riva Hunters will still bring another copy if we'll play two more rounds. So actually we mm. should do that, because then all of them will become sixes. So, we should just play our Queen's Gods, because we want to discard them to the graveyard anyway. You're good. So go for it. Real good. There we go, another Queen's Gods. All of the Queen's Gods, go! Uh, not You're all good. of them. Fine. Really? Now... <laughs> go ho! Oh, then Machek already used one of the Reva Scouts, or he took only two of them into his deck. Mmm, he played us. Yeah, I c can you look at his graveyard, actually? Yes. Let's because we'll take see a if peek. he played us or. No, oh. he played us, he just, he just took two. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that at all. Tricky. Uh, so we just invested a bit too many coins. Nah. Hmm. We still need to. We've got we quite a few points, points to get up there. I mean, um, we could use our ability, which will give us 10 points. Exactly 10 points, so I'm not sure if it's worth it. Or we can pull somebody out of the graveyard. But can you look at our graveyards again? Yes. Actually, we, yes, we can do it with grave. Uh, no, we can't. 
Because no? I was thinking about resurrecting Zygardifa, but she's a silver card, so we can't resurrect her. Ah, I see. I'm just used to having a restoration card. <laughs> uh, so In we, lieu of that, what, what should we do? We just need to invest. We, we need to win this round to stay in the game, so... I would actually go with one Priestess of Freya okay. and one more Queen's God. Yes. We serve her who is bird and mother We're gonna pull out the oh, long eight. Shit? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Cool, and then we are exactly... And then... And then we need to play another Queen's God. Not actually, not. I think I... I think we made the mistake. Can you look at the graveyard again? How did we make a mistake? Because I think I missed <laughs> Priestess of Freya. Yes, yes, we had another Priestess of Freya. We could have done that with eh, only one Priestess of Freya. It's okay. Mistakes were made, yes. but it's all good because we still won this round. Yeah, but we're three cards behind and we're, we're, we're the ones starting. So. Something else that actually we forgot to talk about is the new, the new card drawing mechanic. Um, oh, yes. So on the second round, two cards are drawn. Yes, and on the, the third, third round, one, one. one card. Uh, it's to mitigate the, your initial draw, because sometimes in your initial draw you can have a really bad hand and you have no way, I mean in The Witcher 3, you had no ways of getting back into the game, so you were forfeiting and or reloading a game and uh, I mean loading a game again from the quick save, something like that. I did that a lot in uh, when tournaments. So I remember that. Uh, so we wanted to mitigate that. We wanted to give players an ability to get back into the game, therefore ability to draw two cards uh, on the second round and one card on the third round. And it actually helps a lot. It makes the game more dynamic. Um, okay, we're so starting. So I'm thinking maybe pull Ceres out because I'm trying to lure him into, into doing Radovid. Not and yet. No, we, 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 need, so? we need more points on her. More points. Yes, they, she's getting buffed by every Queen's Guard being played. Oh, that's right. All right, so we only have one more. No, play Where's it. Where's the other one? Oh. Play it. Let's, let's see what's happening here. And oh. all of them came back from the graveyard. Oh, we know she's going to get damaged down. Oh, I didn't realize how many cards he had left. Yeah, he has 10 oh. cards. <laughs> he has so many cards. Oh, no. It's not looking good for us. I think no. we could have used... Oh, he is actually even more because he played Donner. He resurrected Donner. It was a lucky uh, draw for him. Well, at least we get the points there. Yeah, but but yeah he's got... Quite a lot of... He's points. got a lot. Okay, getting nervous now. Um, <laughs> We're doing fine. What does this is fine. fine. We're okay. Everything's fine. We're all good. Uh, I think now you can play Ceres if you want to, because we won't get any more points out of her. Just careful. There we go. Cool. And, and Roach. Roach. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Roach. <laughs> Oh, Margarita. Uh, Margarita is out. That means he'll be promoting. Yes. But because Margarita will spawn a Bannard Adept whenever a gold card appears on the battlefield. Oh, on his side of the battlefield, obviously. Right. Because we, we wouldn't like to give him points for, you know, our units. Okay. Uh, hmm, hmm. Mm, no, because we no, would I know. kill ourselves. I know. Sad. Don't scorch yourself. It's bad. It's very bad. <laughs> um, I've done it before, and I was very upset. <laughs> uh, no, I think you should play Priestess of Freya and chain them. Are you, should we do that yet? Should we not discard? Because this will put I mean, more yes. into the graveyard. We, 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 can, we can do it. because we, we want to maximize that graveyard before we pull anybody out. Yeah, of course. But we, sh we should obviously do that, because these are our two cards left in the, uh, in the deck. And actually... Go for it. If we... Because then actually, we can get, yeah, we we get rid of Scorch, because we don't need it right now, right? We don't oh. need it. Uh, yeah, actually, I think you should get, get rid of Scorch and uh, Ryder. Perfect. Just yep. down here. Oh god, our, our two little cards <laughs> compared to all oh, of his. We still have a leader. Oh no, oh, Vernon is here. And Vernon is one of the really... Oh, he just smacked Ceres. Oh, now she's perfectly 10 points, so we're out of it. <laughs> yes. No! And Vernon is a special card. I mean, he's not a special card. He's a gold card, but he's a card that he's a unit that can target other gold units. There are not that many of uh, the targeting cards. Yes, yeah. in the game, but but they they are there. Exactly, it's just to give you more interaction with the player, so you can even see him targeting. You remember um, the last time he was targeting our units? It was this anticipation. It was. It was. Um, so we've got actually another question in the chat about Nilfgaard, which I understand because I was a huge Nilfgaard player. 
Um, so I think people just want to know a little bit more about about Nilf Garden when it's coming or what happened to it. So well, Nilf Garden is coming. It's coming for sure. We promised it uh, to you, so it will come. Uh, and what can I say about Nilf Garden? Nilf Garden is. Uh, Something really new because we we are testing uh, mechanics of revealing cards with a new new guard faction. So we will have some units that will be able to uh, view cards from your opponent's uh, deck, or I mean from your opponent's mm -hmm. hand even, mm -hmm. if you want to. And then we will build mechanics around that. Like there will be units that will get um, stronger abilities the more cards are revealed on your opponent's hand. So it's like it's like real life spies. Yes, exactly. Yes. That sounds pretty cool. Exactly. So it is it is like that, and it's coming. Uh, just fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> keep fingers. We'll crossed. keep you posted <laughs> more on Nilfgaard in the coming. But thank you for the, for the little taste of Nilfgaard. Um, so should we? I'm thinking. I I don't know. I don't like. I don't want to play her yet. I kind of want to put these guys out. But what do you think of that? Yes, you can yes. do that. But basically, just to like make him do something else yes. first. You should actually play Lugas before uh, chaining medics because Lugas will take into consideration the current number of cards in graveyard. So if you'll pull cards later on, it won't affect him that much. Cool. And then uh, folks are wondering about languages in the beta, and I do know that let's see, we've got English, Polish, Russian, German, French, and Brazilian, Portuguese. I think that's everything um, for closed beta, but. I think so, yes. Yes, I think, I think I remember them all. It, it's just hard, you know, to remember all of these things. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's go with Lugos. Lugos. And here we go. Ooh. It became an 18. 61 points. But you still have so many cards. I would feel much better about that if you didn't have six cards yeah, left. Yeah, <laughs> but we, we needed to invest in the second round. He I know, was just, otherwise. He, surpri he surprised us with a you know, really heavy investment. Uh, Titus the Fox is asking about whether or not there is a tutorial in the game, and yes, there there is. Yes, there yeah. is. There is. We just uh, didn't go through that because we already know the basics of how to play, and we just wanted to show you guys. But yeah, when you're starting up, you'll be able to play a tutorial. Exactly. Okay, so shall we chain our medics? Yes, let's start the chain. Yes, and another one. And another one. <laughs> and now we need to choose. Now we need to choose oh, wisely. Choose carefully. And wise choice will be the highest value. Yeah, so we'll get some long ships up in here. Yeah, I think so. And All right. that's it. Let's 79. see. Now we sit back and we pray to the great gods that he doesn't do something terrible. Oh, that's vibrating. Well, while we're waiting, we can also answer a few more questions. Um, you do not uh, so, oh, people are actually wondering about the animated cards, the premium cards. Uh, we don't have any on the board right now, but we will definitely show you those. Uh, do you think we can hop into the deck builder and they'll have any in there? Where would no, they no, be? No, no, no. We we don't have them in. We uh, don't have them in this build. In this build, but curses. They are coming, they are coming in, in the closed beta, you'll be able to see Geralt. And the more of them are obviously coming. <gasps> we lost! Yeah, he had Yennefer, and he was supposed to, you know, to create weak decks. Mm. <laughs> Yennefer, why would but you do me sorry, like that? Sorry, Philippa, not, not Oh, Yennefer. I was like, I didn't see what he played, so... He played Philippa. Played Philippa Philippa is a really strong card uh, that sets everything on the row to one. This is how he destroyed <laughs> our Melio, our Queen's Guild. All right, Philippa. Good game. <laughs> okay, I think we had... Um, you said you started another deck. Before. Yeah, we have another Skoyatl deck. Uh, oh, let's jump into the deck builder card. again. Deck builder, back over here. And it's the Skoya deck. This one. It's not finished yet, and it's focused solely on dwarfs. Ah, a dwarf, a deck. dwarf deck. I mean, we will have some non-dwarf cards, but it's a really... No, really all dwarf. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 